2 Timothy 3 and verse 12. 2 Timothy 3, 12. Now, we greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. Now, these dear people, and I say that with sincerity and not with sarcasm. I'm not sarcastic. When I say these dear people who tell you that if you're right with God and filled with the Spirit, you'll be shouting and praising God and laughing and clapping your hands seven days a week. They just don't know their Bible. They just don't know their Bible. Now, Jesus said, in the world you will have tribulation. Amen. Jesus said, if they call the master Beelzebub, they'll call the servants Beelzebub. Jesus said, if they hated me, they'll hate you. He said, if they persecuted me, they'll persecute you. But what did he say about that? In Matthew, and we studied this, uh, oh, it's been a long time ago now, but uh, many of you have the commentary on these chapters of Matthew, and we read in Matthew 5, 11, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you false. And I be sure it's false. Be sure it is false. If it isn't, it's not persecution. I mean, if, if you're persecuted for your, your ignorance and for wrongdoing, then there's no glory in that. It may be persecution, but it does not bring glory to God, nor does it bring reward to you. Now listen to what he said. Blessed are ye. That means happy. Happy are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely. For my sake rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Now that's in Matthew 5 uh, and, and verse 11 and verse 12. Look at verse 44 in the same chapter. Matthew 5, 44. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Now, my friend, you mark it down and you believe it because it's Bible. If you live godly and if you live for Jesus, you will be persecuted. No, maybe so about it. No, maybe so about it. You'll be persecuted. You'll be talked about. You'll be lied about. You'll be ridiculed. Why, they, bless your heart, they said, they, they told Jesus to his face. They said, we know who our father is. Our father is Abraham. Now, that is the religious way. Now, notice I didn't say the Christian way. I said the religious way. That is the religious way to say to a man, you don't even know who your father is. You don't even know who your daddy is. You were conceived out of wedlock. You don't even know your name, see? They said to Jesus, in John's Gospel, it's there. They said, we know who our father is. We are not children of fornication. They were saying to Jesus, you don't even know who your father is. Now, of course, they were ignorant. They were ignorant. Jesus said, I proceed from the father. I and my father are one. And he called God his father, and he made it known without any apology that he was God's son and that he was co-equal with Almighty God and God was in him and he in God. He made that clear and he made no apology for it. They persecuted him. They hated him. They took up stones to stone him. They tried to push him over the precipice, but they couldn't put their hands on him until he said, Father, I have finished the work. You gave me to do John 17 verses 1 and following he said I have finished the work and then when he said my hour has come this is my hour then they arrested him now in the garden of course you know they arrested him and, and Jesus said now, whom seek ye and the word they came to arrest him and Jesus said whom seek ye they said Jesus of Nazareth and he said I am and they fell on their faces. They fell flat on the ground. Now, a moment later, that is a few minutes later, they led him away. They arrested him. And they led him away. They whipped him. They spit in his face. They plucked his beard out by the roots. They crowned him with a crown of thorns. And they nailed him to a cross. Why? Because his hour had come. The hour that he would pay the sin debt and did pay it.
for you and for me. Now Amen. they persecuted him, they'll persecute you. They said all kind of slanderous things about him, they'll slander you. They lied on him, they'll lie on you. Now you might as well mark it down. If you live godly, you'll suffer. But he said, uh, we greatly rejoice. We rejoice. Blessed, happy is the man that suffers for Christ's sake. Amen. Now then, I have read to you John 5 and verse 44. I read also, well, verses 11 and 12. Then I read verse 44. Now I want you to turn to John chapter 15. In John chapter 15, we find these words. And Jesus is speaking to his disciples. If, well, let me read this first to get the connection. Verse 18. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Now Jesus said to his disciples, if the world hates you, you know the world hated me before it hated you. Now watch it. If you were of the world, the world would love his own, but be, because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, if they have, notice this now, notice it very carefully, if they have persecuted me, they will persecute you. No, maybe so, no, maybe so about it. If they have persecuted me, they'll persecute you. They, if they have, uh, talked about me, if they've lied about me, if they've slandered me, they'll do the same thing to you. Now, watch this very closely. They, if they uh, keep my saying, they will keep your saying. If they have kept my saying, and they didn't, they didn't, they rejected it. If they have kept my saying, they'll keep yours. Now, in verse 21, but all these things, now this is John 15, 21, all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because